Pennsylvania is all around us, and we want to help you to explore our state. Hi, I'm Beth Erickson, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Join me today as we explore the state symbols of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania residents own many different breeds of dogs. If you had to pick a favorite dog to represent the state, what would you choose? Cocker Spaniel? Dachshund? Bulldog? I wonder if that one has horns. <laughs> While many different breeds of dogs could have been chosen, in considering the Great Dane for the state dog, the legislation indicates that there was a variety of reasons it was chosen, including its usefulness to humans, its head shape, and its personality traits. But ultimately, it may have been a painting that contributed to the Great Dane selection as a Pennsylvania state symbol. As the Great Dane was prominently depicted in a painting with William Penn that was installed in the Governor's Reception Room in Pennsylvania's Capitol Building in 1910. The legislation suggested that the selection of the Great Dane as a state symbol would pay tribute to the artist, Violet Oakley, who painted this mural and other historic murals in the Capitol building. So on August 17, 1965, the Great Dane was selected, designated, and adopted as the official dog of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Great Danes were originally bred in many countries, including England and Germany, and were brought to Pennsylvania by early settlers. As a member of the dog family, Great Danes are related to the fox, the coyote, and the wolf. But Great Danes are different than their wild relatives. They are domesticated dogs belonging to the species Canis familiaris, which includes all domesticated dogs from the tiny Chihuahua to the giant Great Dane. An animal that has been domesticated like the Great Dane or other pet dogs means that it has been selectively bred over generations to live alongside humans. Individual animals that exhibited desirable behavior traits, such as obedience and tameness, were selected to be bred, and then these desirable traits were passed on to the next generation. Eventually, over several generations of breeding, these dogs became genetically distinct from their wild relatives. Great Danes had been bred since the 1800s for their size and strength and were used as hunting dogs for wild boars. But today, Great Danes have a reputation for being loyal, reliable, and extremely sociable, and are kept as family pets. Great Danes are a giant breed of dog. Males measure up to 32 inches at the shoulder and weigh on average 175 pounds. Females are slightly smaller, measuring up to 30 inches at the shoulder and weighing on average 140 pounds. These large dogs begin life small, weighing under 2 pounds at birth. But within 6 months, this little puppy can grow to be 100 pounds. Great Danes have a shorter lifespan than smaller dogs, typically living only about 10 years. And no Great Dane is exactly the same. Great Danes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. There are even some famous Great Danes in books and videos. So the next time that you are out hiking in Penn's Woods, well, you might not see our state dog the Great Dane in the woods, but you may find him in your neighborhood or playing in your yard. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Great Dane and its selection as the official dog of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. To learn how to paint a picture of a Great Dane or for more videos about state symbols, visit our webpage. <laughs>